Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Looks like they built the city deep and high. Are all those walls around the city supposed to protect it from their Tiba attacks? The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Most likely, there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. Can we just go to the presence chamber, please? But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. streets so empty is everyone hiding because of us we have a situation here a situation you'll see when you get to the presence chamber Come on, we're almost there. been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here.
Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the Nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the Nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. People here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being, I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, 
outsiders. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Matt, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say, so I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Navarre, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Oracle has given us the order to cooperate with you, so I'll be watching. I do not trust you. I will not forgive you if you threaten our order. Angel, Zion has several rules. Usually it's a temporary measure to prevent the fall of the city. You must always remember this. The city is in grave danger. Other than that, it's all up to you, really. I wouldn't mind if you saved us. Angel, I heard you contributed to resolving the problem with the hyperdrive. Keep it up, and do what you can. As long as it benefits, Zion. The Angel! I'm low. A uh, Sentinel! The current situation in Zion is desperate, but I believe you'll be able to save us. Angel, the Sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you can do as you please. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Abe, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the Tetrapod. Angel, you're not allowed to use the Exile's Passage without permission. Even if Angel, it's you, you're not allowed to use the Exile's Passage without permission. Even if it's you, I can't give you special treatment.
It's the angel. Don't bother me. Mind your own business. Halt. This is a restricted area. I haven't seen you around Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the Prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. And you, you okay? time when this bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty. Empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but... If you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Hey. What? Yeah. I guess you're not gonna help. No, ignore me. Sue, I have a question about Enya's condition. What? Shouldn't Zion's engineers be able to do something to help her? They can't. I heard they're lacking in just about everything they need. Technology, funds, basic resources. Attempting anything is only gonna make things harder for them. Okay. I'll relay this to our engineer right away. What is it, Angel? There's no point being here. Oh, please pretend you didn't hear that. So then... Are you leaving? I wish you well. Looks like there's a lot of activity. All right, let's take a look at some of the stories of the citizens. Ah, Angel. Lovely to meet you. You... You don't seem very likable. <laughs> All right. You're pretty sharp. I've heard it before. Folks often compare me to a snake. I'm Roxanne. Consider me a kind of info dealer. Info dealer? Yes. Practical things. Gossip, blackmail, fears, weaknesses. I dabble in a bit of everything. Oh, I do like this angel. You really are my favorite customer. So you're leaving? I had a good time. I wonder if our customer is as satisfied as I am. Let's leave it at that. 
Goodbye. If the news spreads that you're here, the Sentinels might come and take what's left. Can you not hear me? Hurry and go! Now uh, Angel! Uh, I can't believe the Angel is here. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. Uh, at least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm, uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You, you can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. Of course, I'll do what I can to help you, as well. Really? Then, I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you look like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I now? I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the Wasteland. When I ran into some Natibas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! Ah! You're back! I'm grateful that you keep coming back to my shabby spot. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, I think. Oh, um, no. Uh, please. Go on. with my drone it'll be very useful for the mission thanks Lily great let me know if you ever run out of ammunition
to go to the wasteland too. Or do you think I'd just get in the way? Lily, I have to ask you something. I found someone who's been injured very badly. She's too weak to speak, and there's no chance of her moving. The technology here won't do. Do you think you might be able to help somehow? Well, yes. But do you really think this is a good time? The people here, they have negative feelings towards the colony. Many of them think they were abandoned. I want them to see that our mission isn't just for the sake of appearances. Our mission is to save mankind. Ah, yep. Typical Eve. <laughs> I can give it a try, but I can't guarantee a complete recovery. Also, there's a lot I'll need to prepare. I understand. Just tell me what you need. I'll send over the list. And please try not to spend too much time on this. After all, we still have a mission to complete. I know. Thank you. I brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. That was your walk around the city. It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well, there are still some issues with the tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Be careful. Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. Eve, Eve, there's something I didn't tell you. It's about time the drone got an upgrade. Come over here. I want to go to the wasteland too. Or do you think I'd just get in the way? It means the grand opening of Lily's second w Angel, you'll need useful information in order to operate outside of Zion. Did you know that there is an information dealer in the city? I think it'll be worth it for you to meet that person, despite their character. Roxanne. Angel. Thank you so much for bringing a little bit of light into this dark alleyway. I didn't come here for your compliments. <laughs> Very scary. What is it? Oh, honey. Are you leaving? That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I guess jokes aren't really your forte. Ta-ta. Kaya. you here this time? Kaya, I have a question for you. Yes, Angel? The data from this mind map copy. Do you know where I can find it? Oh, uh, well, I'm not really sure. 
it's impossible to remember where every item comes from. Although, another scavenger told me... You can find data processing drones from the old civilization out in the wasteland. If you're looking for old data, it might be possible to find a clue there. Data processing drones. All right, thank you. Are you leaving now? Goodbye, Angel. Farewell, Kaya. Ah, I'm grateful that... Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Oh. you heard that. I'm sorry if I offended you, Angel. I wasn't asking for an apology. I just wanted to know why you said that. What is this place? This is my shop, Gwen Hair Salon. I'm Kasim, the hairstylist. Hair. I style your hair so you feel better and confident. Your hair looks great. It's full of potential. But that potential is hidden at the moment. That's why I said it is dull. Is that so? Are you saying you can make my hair less dull? Of course. But I don't have the proper tools with me right now. Those so-called scavengers stole them. I can't run a business without my tools. But then they probably just threw them away. Those tools would be useless to them. Thrown away? Where? Things like that usually end up in the landfill and the wasteland. Okay. I can look for them. In return, you will style my hair. Sounds good to me. I'm missing three items. Scissors, hair dryer, and hair straightener. Understood. I'll be waiting here, Angel. Stretch far away. This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. And yet danger lurks around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go. like a good amount of the camp's energy is being supplied by nearby areas. I think there's an issue with the supply network. What can we do about it? <sighs> this is gonna be tricky. Outside of Zion, there's a solar tower that supports energy links to nearby facilities. It seems like there might be a problem with the tower. We're going to have to go and check.
Lily? What is this thing? It looks so strange. Oh, that's a can. In the past, it was used as a container for electrolyte solutions. A can? I like it. I can read a variety of data from this. It isn't much, but I can still feel traces of memories in it. It's a description or an advertisement for the electrolyte solution. Funny seeing you so interested in some old item. Well, they're kind of pretty in their own way. But if you're that worried about it, why don't I make a cabinet to store them? All right then. As long as it's not a burden for you. Oh, this is easy as pie for the one and only Lily Artemis. <laughs> I'll prepare it right away. Let's make a collection together. Thank you, Lily. Wow, great moves. Almost as good as mine. It must be the drone, not you. Is this the place Kasim mentioned? Yes, it is. It's an absolute treasure trove of all manner of junk. Only problem is that it's far too big. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, scissors, hair dryer. Following the path, and you'll see Altus Labor. are you doing here? Ah, it was you, Angel. Phew. I'm here on the Prophet's orders to inspect the plant and other facilities. I was about to head back, but I saw all these monsters. I barely managed to hide here. You already saved my life, but can I ask you a favor? Did you see a sentinel on your way here? No. You're the only person I saw. The thing is, a sentinel accompanied me here as a bodyguard. He shoved me in here to protect me from a Natiba before running off to fight it. I can't just leave without him. Wait here. I'll look around. Thank you so much, Angel. His name is Go. If he's alive, he should be around here somewhere.
to Altus Labor. Are we going to need a security code? No, but getting ourselves inside might... Hot, outsider. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Royal Guard Quiel. I'm under direct orders from Oracle to protect the ruins. Do you know this is a restricted area? I can't let anyone in who isn't qualified. Qualified? If you manage to defeat me, I'll let you pass. Well, if that's the case... Very good. I underestimated your ability to fight on equal footing with the Alpha Natiba. It was an honor to spar with you. We can enter now, right? Yes. 
Altes Lavoir has been contaminated by Natibas for a long time. No one has ever made it back alive. However, with you, I have hope. Be careful. You want to take the test again? Work a sudden. The drone scan isn't working either. Hold on. This is bad. There's an unusual electromagnetic security field disrupting the system. There should be natibas around here. Ah, equipping the drone is still possible. Same goes for shooting at range. I guess we should thank Lily for that. That's more than enough. Entering now. The ruins looked old, but inside it looks so modern. Something about this feels off to me. The time period doesn't seem to line up at all. I feel the same. That's one way to greet people. Wow, this place is filled with capsules. Was it a research facility?
using a Tiva. There's a camp. It's open. Let's head to the gate.
the pattern under your feet is a hint. to the next area. I'm detecting a fusion cell in that generator. Let's get it out of there. The door on the other side is open.
The laser is on. Let's go down. subjects are alive.
need a fusion cell in order to get out of here.
Great. Success. They might have done, Lily. After all, knowing your enemy is often the first step towards defeating him. But this place seems more like a manufacturing facility to me. Stuck. They pass through the lasers without a single scratch. should work.
contamination is advancing here. That's a security code. It will definitely come in handy. We're almost there. I'll look for a different route. We can take a detour through the vent. Try entering the code. modules to upgrade the drone. Locked up tight, but the hacking tool should get it open before you know it. Supply cap is here as well. <sighs> Let's take a breath anyway.
Tebas are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibas. Elder, you're keeping something from us. What is it?
a hyperdrive. Hypercell's preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But... Why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Danis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory, 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created. The so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. Onboard. 